On today's video, we're building the banana for Matt's off-road recovery. You don't know I'm building it for him yet, but I'm hoping they'll like it. If you're not familiar with Matt's off-road recovery, then you should go check them out because I can guarantee if you watch this channel and other RC channels and you're into, and you're into crawlers and, well, RC in general, you will like Matt's off-road recovery. Nothing to do with radio control, but a very good, wholesome channel. Right, so like I said, we're building the banana. The banana is a 2000. Pause the video there, I need to make sure I get this correct. So we know it's an XJ. I think it's a 2000 or 2001. 2001. So the banana is a 2001 XJ. Being from the UK and you know, we're not massive Jeep experts, well, I'm not. I initially put this hard body to the side um, to do. This is an early one. I think from 2000 they did a facelift. So yeah, what's going to do hard body. This is the only hard body available. So actually we'll do a facelift one. This is a 2000. We'll talk about this body a little bit more when we get onto it because it's not perfect, but it's the best I could find. The chassis is going to be the Enduro from Element. This is the builder's kit. Really good base chassis. It's got the Stealth X gearbox, which is awesome. We'll talk a bit more about that once I've built it. Hoping to put a Crawlmaster 550 in it. It should fit. No expense spared either with these race lines monsters from rc4 wheel drive these are 1.9 bead locks now the only thing we need to do these are the same wheels that are on the banana but the bead lock ring there is the same color as the wheels so we need to get rid of that anodizing should come off of the old oven cleaner trick we'll try that polish it up a little bit and they should look good and if you're familiar with matt's channel we've got the patagonia mts these are the same tires as well obviously we need a winch and some lights I'm not going to be showing you the build on this. I've done plenty of builds for crawlers. There's plenty of crawler builds out there. So same as I say on all them, just follow the instructions and you should be all right. I just want to have a good night. I just want to have a good night. Hold up. Securing these e-clips is a lot harder than securing your privacy online. And this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. I've been using Surfshark for a couple of years now. It's a VPN which stands for Virtual Private Network. It's basically a way for you to protect your privacy online. I'm currently connected to the United Kingdom. As you can see, my online activity is encrypted and my real location is hidden. Think of yourself traveling through a little internet tunnel where no one else can see in. So some of the things that Surfshark offers you, you can browse privately, hide your location, you can block ads and malware, stay safe on public Wi-Fi, that's really important. And if you're sat in Starbucks using a public Wi-Fi, you need to make sure you're protected while you're drinking your coffee. Now one of the other benefits, if you're a Netflix fan, my wife uses Surfshark as well and she has told me that SWAT Under Siege is not available in the UK at the moment. If I search that, so we've got SWAT Firefight, SWAT Under Siege, not available. Apparently, it's available in Sweden. So let's put ourselves in Sweden using Surfshark. So now, here we go, SWAT Under Siege, and we can watch it. As much as I'd like to stay in Sweden, I've heard it's a nice country, let's come back to the UK. So not only does Surfshark protect your online privacy and keeps your data secure, it's got other benefits too. If you use my link below, you'll get 83% off and you'll get three months free as well. That's a, that's a tongue twister. There's also a 30 day money back guarantee. Right, that's enough about sharks. Let's get back to the banana. And there we go, the roller. Well, well, it's not a roller, it's got electronics in it, but the chassis is done. Nice, easy build. I'm not gonna lie, I made a few little mistakes. The main mistakes I made were with these Links. I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I was finding it difficult to work out which way uh, the rod ends go. It's not overly complicated, uh, my brain just wasn't working. So there's the Holmes Hobby 550 motor nicely tucked in there. I got full overdrive on there. It comes out of the box, so I think it's six point something percent overdrive, which means the front wheel spin a little bit faster than the rear, or you can swap it out for 11.8. I mean, I could look in the book, but I'm just guessing. I've got an option. So have got more overdrive at the front. That gives you better climbing control. I think it gives you better turning as well. I'll show you that once we get the wheels on and I'll show you the difference. Large battery tray. It comes with a shorty one as well, but shorty battery is not as common. So I've gone for a large battery tray to make it easier. Trusty 25 kilogram Banggood special or AliExpress special. Hobby Wing Quick Run 1080 ESC. The best brushed ESC you can buy for a crawler. Paired up to, to a basic Dumbo RC transmitter, because that's all you need. And something that's not too complicated and easy to use. Purposely soldered the motor like that, so it's 90 degrees, so it comes out there. Same on the bottom, 
so it's nice and neat. Before I do anything though, I am just gonna check the program card. That servo is only good for 6.4 volts, so I need to make sure I've not got this on 7.4, I don't wanna kill it. 14 is your BC voltage, right, that is on six volts, so that's so good. I suppose you better get some wheels on. I'm gonna leave the body till last, because that is the bit that takes forever, so wheels. But like I mentioned, these are the race line monsters, the same as what Banana has. What we have gotta do though is take this outer beadlock ring off, and I'm hoping that it is just anodized, and we can get that off with a bit of oven cleaner right let's see if this works please work please work wear gloves with this because it burns if you get it on your skin especially if you've got like a cut on your skin it certainly burns apparently these gloves are one size fits most and <laughs> just be careful it does burn right dip her in let's hold it there for a bit wouldn't surprise me as well with this oven cleaner. They've changed the recipe, health and safety and all that, because usually it comes straight off. Oh, no. Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got movement. Don't know if you can see that. Yay, look. Can you see that coming off now? Right, let's get this all cleaned up. I've got some metal polish, and we'll see how this comes out. And then if it works all right, we'll do the other four, three even. I did a video on this a while back, a few years back actually, about how to get anodizing off of alloy parts. Well there you go, that's how you do it. There it is all cleaned off. Not sure if this metal polish is going to be harsh enough. It's still going to look better than uh, black. I used to spend hours polishing BMX parts when I used to build BMXs. Quite therapeutic sometimes. I used to use a Dremel though with like proper polishing wheels and cutting compound and stuff just to get it like mirror fresh. Do you see the edges there are shining up? I just remembered I still have some polishing wheels. This should work a treat. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> that is going to look so much better. Yeah. Can we just have a moment of appreciation for the wheels? How nice do they look? This is going to be such a nice build. As long as I don't mess the body up, we should be okay. So if you're undecided whether you like this video yet, at least give it a like for these wheels. Oh, the bit I've been dreading. Getting this body done right. Yeah. Nice. Right, let's talk about bodies. This one's from Axial. 2000 Jeep Cherokee. It's almost perfect. So it comes with window masks, some accessories, and wing, wing mirrors, grill, uh, some other stuff. Comes with window stickers. I'm probably going to tint the side windows, but I'm trying to get hold of an interior for it. And then this is the body. Now, when I said almost perfect, the only issue is the arches. They're too high up on the body, really. I don't think the rear's too bad, uh, but it would have been nice if the front was a bit lower. I'm going to trim the arches out anyway, because the banana's got trimmed arches. The fronts are wider than the rear, so I'll trim the rears right down, and then we'll leave a bit of meat on the front just to try and make it look as good as possible. First of all, I'm going to cut it out, then I'm going to line the body up. Make It's already pre-marked for the body post, but what I'll do is I'll cut it out, or test fit it, make sure it fits properly, and then mask it up, and paint it. So that is a good few coats of yellow. So can and a half of yellow, then a few coats of white, and I had a little bit of a panic with the white. I let this dry for 24 hours, and when I put the white on, I don't know if you can see it, gone like a bit of a creamy color. And I thought it might soak through and ruin the yellow, but I think we're good. I think we are good. So now it's time to take all the masking off for the arches, and then lay some black on there. We'll see how well I mask these now to see if we've got any uh, leakage. That's not too bad. Let's hope the others are all right. Anyway, let's get some black on here.
so that is the body almost done. That was a little bit fiddly to cut out because I've cut the bumper off. There's not much material left there. So this comes with a molded grill that's got to go in there. I'm just painting it at the moment. Also painting a hat, and that's for this interior. Comes with a little dude with a hat on. Now there's something missing from him other than his hat and his body, a beard. I found this. I reckon we can shape that, put a little mouth in there, put a little, cut a little hole for the mouth in there, spray this a brownie color, and we're gonna be good. A bit too big at the moment. Let's make that a bit smaller. So next thing I gotta do is cut the arches. I've not peeled the film off the outside yet. I've not taken the masking off the windows. I'm gonna tint the rear ones and the back one. I might put a light coat on the front too and then leave this plain, obviously. I'm gonna try and cut these as best I can, leave them wide. Rears, I'm gonna trim up. Pretty close is like a crease line there, probably up to that. Because I think the banana's rear arches are only very thin. I'll double check first, but I'm gonna do that now. Now for one of the most satisfying things in radio control, peeling off the outer film. A few edges to clean up, get that grill in, sticker it up, and then it's ready for the big reveal. I think we're ready for the big reveal. Here we go. Ta-da! There's Matt in there. It's as close as I could get, <laughs> but we got a driver and that's all that matters. Wheels looking good. Decals there. Got to get my vinyl cutter out, put the banana on there. Got the grills on the front. The door handle should be yellow, but the yellow I've got is a bit too bright to do the uh, plastics. Can't tell as much on the grill, but the door handles you can. Few imperfections, but overall, I like it. Now, now you may have noticed there's no bumper or winch. Just use the bumper that was part of the body um, for the rear. Now, it took me a while to find the front bumper. I looked through loads of different designs. I wanted to get one as close as possible to the banana. Thankfully, the FTX Outback has a very similar bumper, but it wasn't as simple as just fitting it. First of all, I had to get it to fit because the mounting brackets were too wide. It also needed a winch and it also needed some lights on it and a flag. So I got my fabrication hat on. Well, I got my fabrication t-shirt on. And here is the finished product. I think it's come out really well. I had to completely cut away the mounting bits and got a little bit of alloy tube on there. Cut that to size, fitted that. Got the lights on the front there as well. Got the flagpole. The winch, it sits a little bit further back on the banana, but I couldn't cut this bumper because of how it mounts. If I'd cut away at the bumper to mount the winch back further, I wouldn't have been able to mount it. So, so I made a metal bracket under there so it all fits on nicely, nice and sturdy on there. Now I shall put the bumper on and then you can see it in all its glory. Yes, all done. I'm going to banana up the windscreen and then we better take it for a shakedown before we send it off to them. I don't want anything obvious falling off or breaking so let's go and give it a try on the rocks. Man, that looks so good. So that is the banana all finished. I've made a few little tweaks to it after that shakedown. We did have a couple of issues. I lost some of the hex hardware off one of the wheels. I must not have tightened it up because all the others were fine. So replace that. I've put a little bit of Loctite on them all. Change them for six mil to eight mils. Hopefully they'll stay in. I also noticed a little bit of rubbing on the inside of the front wheel. So I've swapped over the hexes. Slightly wider track now on the front, which is probably akin to what the actual real one is. So that stopped that rubbing and I had one leaky shock, which I don't think is too bad out of four taken that apart, reseated the O-ring, put a tiny bit of O-ring grease around it, put it back together. Worked it a few times just to make sure it wasn't leaking, so that's all on. And then a few minor changes. I've 
cut them a little bit thinner. You can't cut them too thin because they're actually covering the um, fixings for the front grille. But I've cut them a bit thinner because they were a bit, bit wide. I didn't really like the look of them on that video. I've hand painted a little bit on the grill just to tone the colour down a bit because the colour wasn't quite the same as the body. So we've done that. As you can see, we've got banana on there now. And this performs really well. The element stuff, so good. And as you saw, I mean, it got over them rocks fine. I forgot to show the overdrive. I've got it on the full option of 11.8. As you can see that green tape on the front spinning a lot faster than the rear. That helps with turning, it helps with climbing. What it does is when the front's spinning a bit faster, it kind of pulls the front down. So when you're climbing like that, the front's spinning a bit faster. It helps, I guess you could say the inertia of it. It helps pull the front end down a bit. Anyway, overall, I'm really happy with this. So all I've got to do now is get it all boxed up and ready and ship it off to them. Like I said, they don't know they're getting it and I don't expect any credit from them or shout outs. I just wanted to make it. Gives you some content, gives me some content and it was a good fun build. And remember, if you want to keep yourself safe on the internet or if you want to watch stuff that you're not able to watch in your country, check out Surfshark, check my link in the description, use my code and get that awesome offer. I'll see you next time.